This is incredible. The warmest fall season ever recorded is this year. It goes from September 1st, which is the start of meteorological fall, all through October and November. Now we still have two and a half weeks to go for November, so this number is going to change. But it's got to change a lot and I don't have any cool temperatures for the next eight days and just looks how it, it is just demolishing 1931 to 1963 and how closely clustered these are 74.3 degrees to 74.9 the average temperature these two and a half months for us 79 degrees so it is not your imagination it has been incredibly warm so what's the reason uh, there's there's a several reasons uh, first of all we've had a southerly wind still on some days uh, and that brings in the warmth and the humidity but even on a day like today when it's just delightful outside you still have somewhat of a pacific air mass that moves into southeast texas and that pacific air for this time of year is very warm and our fronts that have been moving in and we have another one that comes in on wednesday have been pushing through but because of the the jet stream you really need the jet stream to dip down into Texas in order for some of that chili the color purple here the bluish color that really needs to move through and with the fronts that we've had so far this fall we have lowered temperatures in the 70s a few mornings in the 50s it just hasn't really been able to bring the chilly air through because of these areas high pressure it really blocks uh, the chilly air from moving into the south in fact as we head toward Friday and this weekend we're going to warm back up into the 80s after this front moves through on Wednesday and lowers temperatures for a couple days. There is some hope potentially, but this is a long way off. We're looking at Wednesday of next week and Thursday of next week, a week and a half away where we actually really for the first time this fall see a big dip in the jet stream and you can see some of that colder air moving into Texas and the chilly air now making it into southeast Texas. So we actually could see some mornings in the 40s with some highs in the 60s below average temperatures. So we'll see if this really happens, but we've got to wait another week and a half for that first real cool down with fall temperatures. And so what we've got this week is uh, lower to mid 80s the next couple days. There's the 70s and also the 50s with this front, but you can see how quickly this weekend temperatures warm back up into the 80s. And just looking ahead to Wednesday and Thursday of next week for right now, I have highs in the 60s and then I have on Thursday morning starting out at 48 degrees. But it hasn't just been us with these unseasonably warm fall temperatures, when you really look at the entire United States, uh, especially the desert southwest, it, it has been really warm uh, since going back to 1970. In fact, specifically for Houston, we're 3.6 degrees above average compared to where we were in 1970 for fall warming. And then when you look at more uh, warm fall days, days above average going back to 1970, 22 more days on average are above average compared to the, how they used to be. So this is really a trend because of a warming world. And so when you look at the temperatures this week, warm the next couple of days, again, that front lowers temperatures, but do you see how we're still above average? So again, without getting that dip in the jet stream, it really makes a difference for being below average. You're still above average, and by the time we get to Saturday, we start to warm up yet again.